morning, everyone. How are you this beautiful day, this beautiful day that the Lord has made? I'm Karen Jane Casey on the podcast, Turn to God with Karen. And this episode is Sword of the Spirit. As you may know, as we go out each day, we need to be dressed for success, meaning we need to have the full armor of God on. And that is described in Ephesians chapter 6. Part of, our, part of our full armor of God is the sword of the Spirit. And that is what we can use, one of many weapons that we can use against the enemy attacks. So what is the sword of the Spirit? The sword of the Spirit is the Word of God. The Word of God, God breathed, inspired by God, our Creator. In this episode, we like to talk about different passages from the Word of God or um, give scriptures to a specific topic. Last week, we began our series on God's promises. And last week was, when you seek Him, you will find Him. Today, we're going to say, the title is, Watching Over Me. Watching Over Me. And like I said, this is part of the series, God's Promises. Did you know that God promises to protect his children? And that's huge. Let's look at a few passages in Psalms which reveals his promise. David, a man of God's own heart, describes this relationship in Psalms 121 in the Passion Translation. I'm going to jump in and read that now. God protects us. A song of the stairway. I'm reading now. I look up to the mountains and hills, longing for God's help. But then I realize that our true help and protection is only from the Lord, our Creator who made the heavens and the earth. He will guard and guide me, never letting me stumble or fall. God is my keeper. He will never forget nor ignore me. He will never slumber or sleep. He is the guardian God for His people, Israel. Yes. Yeshua himself will watch over you. He's always at your side to shelter you safely in his presence. He's protecting you from all danger, both day and night. He will keep you from every form of evil or calamity as he continually watches over you. You will be guarded by God himself. You will be safe when you leave your home and safely you will return. He will protect you now and he'll protect you forevermore. Oh my, that is so powerful. So I have a personal story to share about that. In my book, My Dear Rosa Jean, which is a truthful fiction, I loosely describe a life of domestic violence. My more recent book, A New Song Rises Up, shares bits and pieces of my life of abuse. I kind of outed myself with that. What is pertinent to the topic today is this. My abuser came to the point where he intended to carry out his plans to kill me, but God had another plan. During a horrible physical attack, he ended up with his knee on my throat, cutting off my air. In my mind, I cried out to the Lord, Oh God, I'm going to die. And then my abuser eased up a little bit and I could breathe. And I said, I told. With those two words, he went and sat down, terribly confused. I was confused too. Why did I say that? I didn't know. And then I heard a voice, Karen, look. And I saw that I had a clear path to the, out of the bedroom door. And I ran. I ran down the stairs, out of the front door. And I ran down the middle of the road, screaming for help. And then at the end of the road, a neighbor took me in and called the police. Praise you, Lord. God saved my life in that incident. He has rescued me time and time again since then. And I know I can verify miracles happen when you believe. God is absolutely our protector. We can cry out to him in times of trouble. He gave me those two words so my enemy would be confused. Because of the Lord, I did not die. 
I will always praise the Lord for the many times he has saved my life. He rescued me. And praise, praise to the Lord is key in this. He is, here's another passage I want to share. Psalm 34, and it contains my favorite verse. Psalm 34, 18. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. I'm reading from the Passion Translation, so it may not come out just like that. That was in the NIV that I just quoted. All right, so we're going to find evidence that praising the Lord is key and that God's promise is to protect his children. And I'm reading Psalm 34 now in the Passion Translation. God's Goodness, a song by King David composed after his escape from the king when he pretended to be insane. Lord, I'm bursting with joy over what you've done for me. My lips are full of perpetual praise. I'm boasting of you in all your works, so let all who are discouraged take heart. Join me, everyone. Let's praise the Lord together. Let's make him famous. Let's make his name glorious to all. Listen to my testimony. I cried to God in my distress, and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Gaze upon him. Join your life with his, and joy will come. Your faces will glisten with glory. You'll never wear the shame face again. When I had nothing, desperate and defeated, I cried out to the Lord, and he heard me bringing his miracle deliverance when I needed it most. The angel of Yahweh scooped down to listen as I prayed, encircling me and empowering me and showing me how to escape. He will do this for everyone who fears, has reverential fear and awe of the Lord. Drink deeply of the pleasure of of this God. Experience for yourself the joyous mercies that he gives to all who turn to hide themselves in him. Worship in awe and wonder, all you who have been made holy. For all who fear him will feast with plenty. Even the strong and the weary, even the strong and the wealthy grow weak and hungry. But those who passionately pursue the Lord will never lack any good thing. Come, children of God, and listen to me. I'll share the lesson I've learned of fearing the Lord. Do you want to live a long, good life, enjoying the beauty that fills each day? Then never speak a lie or allow wicked words to come from your mouth. Keep turning your back on every sin and make peace your life motto. Practice being at peace with everyone. The Lord sees all we do. He watches over his friends day and night. His godly ones receive the answers they seek whenever they cry out to him. But the Lord has made up his mind to oppose evildoers and to wipe out even the memory of them from the face of the earth. Yet when holy lovers of God cry out to him with all their hearts, the Lord will hear them and come and rescue them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to all whose hearts are crushed by pain, and He is always ready to restore the repentant one. Even when bad things happen to the good and godly ones, the Lord will save them and not let them be defeated by what they face. God will be your bodyguard to protect you when trouble is near. Not one bone will be broken. Evil will cause the death of the wicked. For they hate and persecute the devoted lovers of God. Make no mistake about it. God will hold them guilty and punish them. They will pay the penalty. But the Lord has paid for the freedom of his servants. And he will freely pardon those who love him. He will declare them free and innocent when they turn to hide themselves in him. Oh my gosh, I love that. And so many parts of it. So many passages in that scripture. It sounds like it could be my testimony. What about you? Could it be your testimony as well? So much of it, so much of it uh, is, is something for us to remember and to lean on the Lord in times of trouble. 
So please know that God promises when you ask and seek Him, you will find Him. And we can turn to God about any problems we have, any troubles we have, because He is our protector. He is our refuge. We can hide under the wings of the Lord. Well, this is only one of many awesome promises of God. Please continue to join me in this series. And thank you for joining me today. Um, I hope you'll join me every Wednesday, every Monday, and every Friday on Turn to God with Karen. As you may know, um, on Mondays we have Hope and Faith Journey, and then every Friday we have Karen's Book Corner. This is Karen Jane Casey, author, speaker, podcaster, domestic violence victim advocate, and ambassador for Christ. You can go to my website, and I hope you will, and on the contact section, please share your feedback. I appreciate every comment you may have. And that is KarenJaneCasey.com. When you go there, you'll see books, blogs, podcasts, pertinent information regarding domestic violence. And I have a new page, children's, children's books that I've been writing. Well, thank you and God bless.